a Christmas tree, Magnolia style. When you chop down your tree, you need to make sure to choose the perfect tool. And these tools are the appropriate ones. Except for this one. I don't know why this one's here. Or this one. Well, unless it's a tiny little Christmas tree. But you don't see many of those around here. <laughs> That's a the slapper. Well, the tool I'll be using is this bad boy. The Christmas Tree Chopper 5000. Shoot fire! The first step in Christmas decorating is picking out your Christmas tree. Now, I would say this is a lovely tree for Christmas decorating, but it won't fit in my house. So, we must go find another Christmas tree. This, my friends, is the perfect Christmas tree for Christmas decorating. Look at the flawless needle. Form of verbal, sexual, or violent harassment. Picking on somebody, making them feel bad. What kind of person would want to bully me? For no apparent reason. The first time I was I was bullied was in sixth grade by a group of kids who would call me names and throw paper at me when I would walk by. It made me feel like like I wasn't like. I didn't want to talk to anybody. And I was I became really shy and have no friends because I was scared. Looking back now, it's like I don't I don't like bullying and I think it's really mean when kids do it. People telling other people bad things, putting them down so they can make themselves look better. My name is Jadrian DeVille, I go to Fair High School and I'm a senior. Well, from middle school to like eighth grade, junior high, I was bullied because I was a homosexual. It wasn't really the most popular thing to be. Everyone kind of like hated it and thought I was an abomination, I should say. Things went crazy like after like seventh grade, it, I got into fights. From the fights, it escalated. Um, I guess when I get to, when I got to high school, my junior year, I was gay bashed on the way walking home from school practice, and I was in the hospital for over two months. It made me feel bad, but it changed my life. I could say um, it made me just let the insults just roll off and back whatever like I'm still I have friends that treat me as a human being now and I don't have to worry about all the other ignorant people that don't have common sense and see me as a human being. I'm Andrew Garcia I'm 17 and I, and I go to for high school. So I was verbally bullied. I was told wrong stuff and I was told stuff that would make a person cry. I went to Stevenson Middle School which was a predominantly minority school but because I didn't know anyone in that middle school I was bullied. I That was actually the worst of it because I didn't fight back. I was too scared. I got pushed around, I got punched, I got punched in the kidneys, I got pushed down the stairs. Luckily nothing broke. Um, someone tripped me while everybody was leaving, so I almost got stepped on and stomped on. I've really been through some bullying, if not verbally, verbally or physically abused, but I'm, it's, and I guess with all that, it changed me because in ninth grade, I was really to myself, I was really quiet, I didn't know who to talk to and stuff. I was just a victim of regular bullying abuse. What people should do to end bullying is to report to a teacher or just stay quiet like I did when I was bullied. I think people should just get along with everybody else and not judge people on how they look and act. Everyone's basically the same. They're all human beings. People make mistakes. It's called a mistake because you learn from it. Um, and you shouldn't be picked on by your outer appearance, how you dress, the way you act, it's your personality.
band All Star Weekend recently performed at Magnolia High School. Us here at Watchdog News sat down with them after the show to see what they're really like off stage. We've always been really self motivated. This wasn't really this wasn't something that our parents pushed us to do. This wasn't something that any really pushed us to do. We just kind of pushed ourselves. Pushed yeah, ourselves. Push, I pushed. Wrote a lot of songs. <laughs> I, I motivated the band. To do Michael that. pushes us all the time. Do the most work. Physically, you know, playing shows and you know, passing out flyers and just doing everything we could to, to, you know, find a way. You know, writing tons of songs. You know, everything, everything. I don't know. There's, there's no real one reason why think, we are where we are. I think are. it's just that we're very persistent. And we want it really badly, and so for the last three years, we've given it our all and worked really hard. And um, I, I, th I hope as long as we keep doing what we're doing, that we can um, continue to. Stay in this industry. Keep having fun. Keep getting more we, fans. We, we want to keep music. writing some great songs. I yeah. think it's it's hard to, it's hard to say like what I want to do exactly a year from now because so much changes within a year. Like last year, we were torn in a 15 passenger van, handing out flyers. You know, and it's with like ten dollars so in our much, bank account. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, and we got signed, and so much has happened. And I, I didn't think we'd be on a bus now, playing for high schools, and you know, just pretty much. You know, portraying like a role as like a like a role model. Yeah, like so our, that, our that's we have how we're perceived. And music videos great. on TV, like that's yeah. insane. We would have never seen ourselves so on TV. At anything can happen. Yeah. yeah, we take ourselves very seriously, and we want this to be a lifelong career, and that's what we go for every day. You know, we're we're working to build something, not just throw something out there. And you know, we don't want to be a you know a flash in the pan. We want to you know have a a long career with this. We, we can be we can be very serious, right. but we can be, you know, very goofy. It's it's crazy. The only downtime we really have is like like when we're signing postcards for you guys, that's like the only That's our downtime. Or when we're have. eating, but still even when we're eating we're still like signing stuff. I think like, our life our, our lifestyles have changed so much. Like I know you just like we would write whenever we felt like it, you know, three years ago. We'd play shows when, whenever we could. And um, and now it's like we're playing shows every single day, we're touring or you know, going across the country, we're meeting fans and you know, our, our, we love our fans. They're 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 funny. They're personable, and they're, we always have a good time with them. <laughs> it's completely changed. It's like not the same at all. It's like a seven day week job. It's yeah. like the greatest job in the world. And, you know, we got, got such a great opportunity. Yeah. It's, it's like so privileged to do this. So. We're all Star Weekend, and we both watched out of you. <laughs> <laughs>
there are ghosts, or I wouldn't have my power, but there is no ghost in the stream. There is no such thing as ghosts, I'm sorry. There is ghosts, but they're not in the stream. There no, is a ghost, there and are it's not the ghosts. It's in the room. No, okay. there used to be some tricks by a friend. There are no ghosts. She, she is right. Can't you hear that laughter? You know what, I'm fed up with this. My priestess. There are ghosts. Hey, look! There are the ghosts ghost threw a pin at me. <laughs> the ghosts are not real. You mean your little friend over there? That is your ghost right there. There's your ghost. And look, there's your other ghost. No, two ghosts. Okay, how do you explain this word then? And do you even love them? Where are y'all going? Where did y'all go? Where did everybody go? Open the door! This is not funny!